hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm nia today i'm going to be unboxing my kindle paper white this is all i could think about literally all week long and my aunt gifted me one and i'm so excited for this okay reading has been such a huge part of my life this year the beginning of the year literally new year's day the first book that i read was black cake and i thought it was amazing i set a goal for myself to read seven books for the entire year and i'm already at 21 so my new goal is 25 and obviously i'm going to bump it up to 50 and i'll set that as my final goal for reading of the year so make sure you guys are following me on goodreads my name is nia with a bunch of hearts i'll link it down below Incidentally, i just decided that this year i'm going to be reading way more as much as possible and then unfortunately my grandfather passed away in march and he was an english teacher so obviously he loved to read and always encouraged us to read so i'm going to continue to honor him in that way and with my kindle paper white i'm going to be reading up a storm I'm so excited this is my very first Kindle ever. I've never had one, so I'm going to be getting started. I did an in-store pickup at Target for this one. So the paper white is supposed to replicate the color of a book. I decided to finally get one because I just traveled and the hassle of like trying to decipher which book I want to bring with me was really hard. So this is going to be really convenient for travel. And then every night I read. And if you are a physical copy reader, you know that sometimes laying down and trying to read a book, it just it just doesn't all work out. So that will help. This will be good for on the go. And let's get into it. I did the paper white with an adjustable warm light and it is 16 gigabytes it's a 6.8 display with an adjustable warm light for personalized reading experience day or night it says it reads like paper even in bright light which would be perfect if you like to read outside in the sun i just pulled back the tab that was here and now i'm pulling it out oh my gosh it is literally so lightweight on this back tab that the book was setting on inside of the box it says that's what books are for to travel without moving an inch by jumpa lahiri and the namesake that is such a good quote traveling without moving an inch because reading literally transforms you and then with the kindle you can bring it anywhere you want to go so it just comes with the charger in here so that's it it's really simple packaging because it's really a simple product and then it has the warning labels on the back so this is literally the size of my hand okay so lightweight it is the size of a book but it's so thin so this can easily slide in and out and fit into a bag and i won't have that same issue of like having a bunch of books just being super bulky in my bag and then I have to take some out and then uh, this is going to be so convenient. It has the Amazon logo on the back and then the front it is. You can see that this is like kind of the darker white color of a book. Well, maybe it's like gray or brown. I don't know. It depends. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and start getting it set up. I just press the bottom button down here and then this is the charger port. It's so adorable. I definitely could not hold this book like this to read it. So I did get a, a pop socket. I got a bunch of different accessories to go with it but I couldn't hold it like that I'd have to hold it like this like I do with a book or like this so to start off it asks me what language I'm going to choose English United States that is my region and then it's just loading I'm so excited I really want to read a good book tonight on my Kindle I waited patiently for my case and my pop socket and all my other accessories to come in before I opened it because I don't want to damage it at all and I know how I get down so I had to wait all right it now says hello 
welcome to your new Kindle paper white 11th edition um it's already charged to 56 percent which is perfect and it says i can either set it up on here or set it up with my phone i already have the Kindle app on my ipad which i just grabbed really quick so i'm going to do it that way um just because i'm recording on my phone so it says to open the Kindle app on your phone, go to the apps more tab, select settings, turn on Amazon device, simple setup. So here it is, the simple setup. And then I just have to allow the Bluetooth to connect to my iPad. It was able to find the Kindle and now it is linking. This is so funny. I use my grandma's Amazon account. So now it's linking me to her but i don't think she has a kindle so that works for me now that that's all set up it's bringing me to this page so that i can connect to my goodreads which is absolutely perfect i think i use yeah i'm signing into that this is like so convenient that i can it gave me the option to either sign in or to make a new account but obviously like i already have an account so i didn't need to make a new account okay i'm actually gonna have to go back to the goodreads login but now it is giving me the option to join kindle unlimited it says i can enjoy unlimited access to over 4 million ebooks thousands of audiobooks and a selection of popular magazines so and it says it's giving me three months for free and then i can renew for 11.99 a month until i cancel hmm. so i currently read mostly physical copies and i try to order them super cheap off of amazon and i was running out of space which is another reason why i wanted to get a kindle or i use libby which is a library app which just connects to my library card and I can get audiobooks that way and sometimes there are physical copies usually if there is a physical copy because I don't want to read a book on my phone I'll just pass but I can I know that I can use Libby on here so I don't know if I want to do Kindle Unlimited I heard that Kindle Unlimited is really good for fantasy readers and romance readers um and people that love series so I think think I'll give it a chance. I haven't quite gotten into any series and I've tried. I really did try but I only tried one book so I'm kind of like have a few books that I want to try so maybe I'll just go ahead and do it and the three months will give me through the summer because it's like mid-May right now so June, July, August so I guess it'll give me the summer to try it out if I want to do it so I just went ahead and clicked yes and oh wow so it linked actually automatically to my um okay it's giving me like the what to do like scroll left and right and of course i didn't read the other few and then it says there's a new quick scrolling experience and it's telling me how to navigate by dragging tapping holding and when I go to more, I can access my reading list, web, web browser, and more. So I'm going to click done. And it is in black and white. I've seen when I was doing my research for this one, I saw that there are rumors that there is going to be a color option that comes out soon. Books that I have downloaded from Libby are actually on here the Vanity Fair diaries and very important people I downloaded from Libby and that is so interesting so I'm kind of getting the hang of things it does load pretty slow I must say but oh brown girl brown stones I'm gonna add that to my queue so I have access to all of these books essentially for $11.99 now that I am a Kindle Unlimited member. So I like a lot of nonfiction books. I like a lot of autobiographies or books just about certain sociology topics like feminism, um, 
socialism i like philosophy if you have any recommendations though that i should get into that are non-fiction or even fantasy series that i should start let me know down below in the comments because i definitely do want to broaden my horizons i feel like right now a lot of the books that i've been reading and listening to are like very serious topics and very dark so sometimes i need something that's a little bit light i do enjoy toni morrison a lot but her move her books are quite heavy, but I, I like them. I like them, although they're a little bit before my time. I like them and I still find them enjoyable. So on the homepage, there's also magazines, which is really exciting because I don't always want to purchase unless there's like someone that's really, really interesting. So I can still peep through these and that'll be really fun. I pulled this down here. And I can turn the brightness up. I will say it is really dark already, like on my eyes. Uh, this is going to be perfect. And I can put it in dark mode. I probably won't read in dark mode too much. I can turn airplane mode off or on. Bluetooth off and on. And then let's go to settings and see what the settings say. So I'm going to definitely have to play around with the lighting on here because... This is a little, a little weird for me right now. I'm in the settings and it's showing my, so I have device options and I can do all kinds of different settings. Information about my Kindle and which one I have. I can set up a warm schedule um, for, I guess as I get more acquainted with it, I can choose like when I want it to go into dark mode. If I do dark mode and I'll set it up in here but that's a really good option especially if I did actually have a set bedtime that would be perfect for me because at this point I go to sleep I sleep for the same amount of time no matter what time I go to bed but the time that I go to bed depends on when I get home from work and that changes every day so I could do page refresh I would not want to do this because it would change it every day and then I could do vocabulary builder which will remember my dictionary lookups this is so something I'm so excited for because when I'm reading I often have to put the book down to pick my phone up and then search whatever word and then sometimes I just lose track of the word that I look up so that'll be really good for me to keep those words there in mind and then I can add them to my very own vocabulary so the books from my Libby will come straight into here which is perfect for me I think that I have it all set up and I'm gonna play around with it um tonight but I do want to show you guys my accessories that I got to go along with my Kindle based off of the research that I did and what people I saw people like the most or what people found the most helpful for their Kindle so I'm going to put this down for So second. I got me some stickers. I got a bunch of Hello Kitty stickers because I love Hello Kitty. And these are the stickers. They're just standard Hello Kitty. There's like a cute little bow one, a bunch of little Hello Kitty stickers. My Nintendo Switch has a Hello Kitty skin. So I wanted to kind of stay in that like theme. This is my Hello Kitty skin. I have pink switch so yeah i got this also from amazon i wanted to stay within the sanrio hello kitty theme i also got this cute hello kitty pop socket and it's her reading a cute little booksy and i'll just stick it on i didn't get the magsafe rings i just don't know anything about that and there are certain things that everyone talks about and that everyone does and i just can't wrap my mind around them and i just don't want to stress myself out so i just disregard and that's gonna be one of those things this is my first kindle and my skin my case that i got was was not expensive at all it was like five dollars and oh no this looks a bit worn i'm gonna just wipe this down before i actually set up my kindle but it's just clear so that i'll put the stickers on and then they'll be underneath and what I realized was that people don't stick the stickers to the Kindle because they want to change it around. And me being me and not knowing anything, this being my first Kindle, I would have put the stickers right on to the body of the Kindle. So 
yeah this case is literally is not the best looking but it's clear i'll probably link a different one because i don't know if this might just be like a return or if it's actually the seller's fault but not cool and it does fit my kindle apparently my kindle is updating this is really exciting so it's just a simple clear case okay so here is my kindle i did it so that i can hold it with my left hand i do write with my right hand but i tend to hold things with my left hand it just makes more sense for me i know a lot of people put them the pop sockets in the middle but i don't know i just wanted to play around with this one and of course here are my little hello kitties it's going to be summer so i did her with a watermelon a bikini some flowers shopping gardening and then the standard hello kitty and then of course her with a book i'm so excited she's literally so freaking cute oh my gosh and then pops like a turn so it's more versatile in my hand so i'm really excited she's adorable look she's so cute i am so hello kitty obsessed and she loves to read like me i also ordered a bluetooth clicker i originally wanted the kindle oasis and it has like a clicker that you press on the side but i saw that they're discontinued hopefully they come out with a new one i was doing a lot of research because i was like trying to find this kindle oasis i'm like i want the kindle oasis i want these buttons to change the page and apparently the battery life was not good so maybe they're doing an update to the battery and then they'll launch a new oasis kindle oasis next year so i just got a clicker so when i'm laying down i can just hold on to this and change the pages so i'll have to connect this to my kindle once it's done updating and i also want to get one of those pillows that have the kindle like propped up and then you can have it on your bed with the rest of like your plushies and you can get all cozy and just kind of lay there because that was something that i really was excited about i saw this one girl's tiktok and she had the entire shebang she had the hand clicker she had a body pillow she had the prop pillow and she was just cozy snuggled up with her kindle and you know when you're laying down and you have to put your hand out of the blanket and then flip the page and flip the page and flip the page and you want to enjoy your book but it makes you kind of tired or you have to sit up a certain way to read the book. That is one of the reasons that I wanted to get this Kindle for the convenience of being able to lay down and really cozy up with a good book. Because I love a physical copy of a book. I love the way that they smell. I love the way that they feel. But sometimes when I'm laying down... I just want to lay down i want to read but doing the act of flipping pages so a lot of people say that they read a lot quicker with their kindle and i would like to see if that actually reigns true for me i kind of am someone that reads in their downtime when i'm traveling i haven't been traveling as much as i was in the beginning of the year on my last flight i read about 75 percent of a book and that was about a week ago and I think that me having access to a book, because sometimes I kind of slow myself down, especially with listening to audiobooks as well. Because I can do an audiobook in maybe a, two days or three days, especially listening in the car. I don't want to finish the book because I don't know exactly what I want to read next, if you get what I mean. So being able to have access to so many books and then reading through so many books and just having them at my fingertips at all times is going to be something really cool and unique for me. So I'm looking forward to that. I may or may not do an update on how much I like this book. Um, I typically on my channel, if you're new here, review, unbox and review clothes and shoes. I have reviewed my Sony camera before. Um, I don't really talk much about books and I don't know if I will intertwine that into my Kindle, but I did want to share my Kindle and kind of give you guys like an update on one of my newest hobbies. Um, but make sure you guys follow my 
Goodreads so I can see what you guys are reading and get some inspo from you guys. And you guys can give me some tips and let me know what you are reading. Let me know how you guys feel about your Kindle Paper White. Also, make sure you're following my Instagram at With One Purpose. I do kind of share on my stories what I'm reading a lot but that is all for my Kindle unboxing and setup make sure you stay tuned to see the final product of once I finally set up my Kindle that will be linked down below it'll be a short as well that is all for today I'm super excited to read my first book on my Kindle thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time